It's Thursday morning, Morgan's getting the low loader on. He's, we're gonna get some straw together. We got some random bales. Bill and Joe are digging potatoes soon to put into store and they wanna put bales sort of like on edge round the potato shed as insulation. The new baler makes them 90 high. So that'll take up quite a bit of space. So we're gonna try and find some of the bales from last year that we've not used in the boiler, some of the, the <coughs> oil seed rape straw. Turn that on at its edge, take up less room, but I think they need about 26. So we're just gonna have a bit of a route round because we've got piles everywhere of straw and get them all together, some that aren't too wet. Yeah, he's rounding all the ones up that haven't been in under cover or under hay caps. So they're obviously a bit marked, but they're still holding the shape. We'll still have an insulation property. And then once Joe's finished with them, we'll throw them through the chipper then and use them as boiler fuel. Yesterday's lesson was how not to strap up under trees. <laughs> Morgan's now managed to get it stuck under the shed. God, pull it, see if it comes off. I know, I can see it. Go on, pull it. Now you'll have to pull more. It's still on it. Every time. Go on, go on. Little bit. Little bit. Now it's on the wood. You'll have to whip it. No, it's still on it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> we're just messing with the dryer now, and we think that top bearing's gone. So we're going to get the jury picker and have a quick look. The bearing under that hood has gone. I've just come up in the basket and checked it, so we're just going to come down now. Right, we decided the bearing at the bottom where it drives is fine, so the auger doesn't need the top bearing because once it gets full of grain, the auger will run on the grain, which is quite normal for an auger to only have a bearing at the drive end. So we're going to fill it up because then we'll have something to stand on to change the bearing. And also we can dry the rest of that barley. We just was concerned that it was a bearing at the bottom, but it's not, so we're happy now. After the ploughing match yesterday, I've had two people asking for an update on David Brown's 1690. It must have been because they'd seen classic tractors there. Anyway, the update is, it's gathering quite a lot of dust. I think it's been here now for at least, at least a year, I think, in the back. But it's forecast to dry tomorrow. I think it's supposed to dry tomorrow, dry sun, Saturday, 23 degrees. So hopefully we'll get on with some field work, get some drilling done. We'll drill 85 acres out of about 650 that we want to get in in the next, um, next two weeks. So that is the priority. But then once winter then starts to set in, We'll get back in here and have a proper proper go at this obviously the engine's all running get the gearbox swapped around get it painted up get it back together and then hopefully next week that'll be back on the road as well when we get the injectors put back in and the sleeves and the new seals so yeah uh, but yeah that's the 1690 update it's just in the workshop just gathering dust and gathering tools on it and coats i've just arrived at wellbrook just to see how they're getting on inside house the builders steel's arrived on tuesday to go across here and here uh the other lads are stuck on another job so they've not done that yet but they'll be going in soon go and have a look at the bathroom so the ceiling's been painted now and then the bathroom pretty much finished it's near the trim Oh no, it's got the trim on. Just needs the trim around the windows. And the lights putting back in. All the radiators are in as well. Yeah, the radiators are in upstairs and the pipes are in for down. Oh, that radiator's in. Uh, yeah, that radiator's in. Oh, there we go, that's good. Yeah, this is getting ready as well for skimming out now as well. Ooh, pipe work. Coming together, you won't believe the, the mess though, would you? All that's come out of the house. All that's come out of the house. Most of it's obviously smashed out fireplaces. 
and bits of mortar left over and that's all stuff to go in a skip yeah anyway straw's still in the shed need to sort them skylights out um, guy up the road actually had a pile of them so he's dropped them off for us so when it's not raining too badly we'll we'll get up and slide them in so that's pretty good anyway that's still dry which is good anyway I keep saying good don't I I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back now get changed and get a train to that, that London for Farmers Weekly Awards tonight which should be interesting um, Merlot will take him as a guest which is nice a little bit of a, giving something back for the appreciation of us having three machines I would like to say and um, I think Charlotte and Roy are there as well the guests of of James's I think and I think I think Martin and Wardy are also there as well so we'll be able to talk to them about baked beans when I shot up to Welbrook to see what was going on, he started filling the dryer. Agitators jammed, which is really annoying. So it's, it tripped out and then he tried to restart and the belts were slipping. So he's now going to discharge the dryer to see what's going on. Um, this is obviously what's going in. Now, I know it's wet and it's kind of like sticking. It's not heavy. No, it's like quite fluffy. Looks wetter than it is. I mean, there it's got like a bit of soil in it, but like it's dusty soil. Yeah, so. That's got nothing to do with the bearing that we've been messing with at the top randomly, but yeah, I'll discharge it and see what's going on. It's not a nice job working on dryers, so it's a bit of a shame that they're going to be doing it without me and I'm going to be on a train to London, but you know, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. He did have a nice day out yesterday, Rob, so we can't moan too much. Joe's just brought back this back. Um, it's been pushing green waste up now, but him and Bill have cleaned a load of grain and we're using the seed snout on the back to fill up bags so they cleaned all the grain tipped it in a pile scooped it up now put it into seed bags so when they go drilling it's easy for them to do because they've just got it stick it on a trailer load it with the telly and in the field so they've had the merlot since yesterday I and mean, that's back now but i'm gonna have to go in now and get a shower i think ian's gonna do the birthdays as well today lads are just emptying the dryer now into the bucket so they can get in and have a look what's going on with that agitator here we are <laughs> Microphone is 43. <laughs> you got me. You got me. Heather Rennie, all the way from Minnesota. Happy birthday to you. Egan is 15. Chris Ellis is 51. Fraser Armstrong is actually 17 today, even though he's on yesterday as well. George Henry is 6. Benji is 30. Robert Edwards is the big age zero, as is Pleasley Young Farmers Club. Molly and Jack, uh, not your birthday, but they were rounding it up even though we didn't need to because we're on the way now and then Tom Boyer I don't know if it's your birthday as well or you were just giving us a donation thanks either way 48,122 raised and Morgan's here with a straw update do you think it needs orange panels on the box though to go with the orange sack there that's staying on there we need new doors happy birthday everyone on there and if you're not on there and it is your birthday happy birthday and if you want to be on there there's a link under every video tunnel <laughs> are you eating again mm. it looks pretty wet everywhere you know <laughs> bit of OSR of a companion crop Flat ground for sheep, that in it. That river looks high, doesn't it? It's gonna rain the cows out. One of the latest results when they lay down, isn't it? Nothing's much sown anywhere, is it? That looks like maize been foraged, and then they strawberries. personal life, for want of a better word, out of it. 
it's always been grass men and pushing the business forward. So basically what I would like 